Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. And this is just gonna be uh, my relaxer um, update review. And um, as I told you guys before, I went five months post relaxer before I actually did my hair. And the reason why I did my hair so early because I wanted to go seven months, but the reason why I did my hair so early because um, you know, like Christmas is around the corner and my birthday is around the corner. So I was like, you know what? Um, my hair was looking out of control, uh, really bad. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and relax my hair. So, so far the relaxer that I used was the, um, the, the olive oil. I think it was olive oil. Um, relaxer, the olive oil um, relaxer in the green box with that black lady in the front of it. And um, the outcome of my hair really came out really good. Um, it's well processed, as you can see, it's well done. Well done. It's well done. Well done. And um, all I did was um, wash my hair out three times with the um, neutralizing shampoo that comes with the perm and after I did that um, I um, did a did a castro I think was it castro yeah I did a castro treatment on my hair and after I did a castro treatment on my hair I went ahead and did an avocado treatment on my hair also in the same day um the same day and um I did an avocado treatment on my ends and I, just to give my hair um, some strength after the relaxer and after I did that I left it on for a good while and then I washed it off and then I followed that up with the um, the the deep conditioner that comes with the, um, the perm okay and after that then after leaving that on for some while I went ahead and washed it out and um Wash it out and then roll set my hair, put in my leave-in treatment, my milk and protein olive oil leave-in treatment in my hair and detangle and then roll set my hair and leave it overnight and then the next day I pull it out. The next day I pull it out because I was going to a uh, get together and I pull it out and blow my hair out and then it came out like this. It was really curly, but now I just have it to the side, you know what I mean? I ease it up to just bring everything to the side and then bend the hair under to form this little puff right here. And that's how it looks. And as you can see, there goes my root. It's well processed. And um, that's it. Um, I also have some downfalls with the perm also. I don't really want to get into it, but I'm going to get in it a little bit. Um, that my hair actually, um, because I had bleached my hair and then I bleached my hair five months ago when I was back home in Jamaica. And then when I came back, um, I thought that because I was treating my hair so often every day, I thought it would be strong enough to hold up to the relaxer but it totally did not um I don't know if I perm my hair too quick or what I don't know but um I kind of had some breakage in my hair really bad breakage and um my hair just started shedding after the perm and stuff so I think it's because of the bleach and stuff that I put in my hair that's why my hair is actually shedding so, um, yeah, and that's usually why I did all those treatments on it because when I was watching the promo, I noticed that I was having a really, really, like, I'm going to show you guys, like, all this hair came out of my head. Like, all this hair, here it is, all this hair came out of my head. <laughs> all this hair. This is all the hair I lost. And I also have some short part, and I'm going to put pictures to show you guys, um, how much that it break off like as you can see right here it's all break off I lost my hair right here and so far I don't know where else in my head I think I lost some around here because of the relaxer so I was really like so upset and stressed out but I wanted to cry but I was like 
it doesn't make sense I started crying because you know it's just here I just said it. it's just here that's what I said it's just here it's just here just to not stress myself out because I was so upset I thought that um me doing all these treatments would have helped my hair but it didn't the perm it totally broke my hair out and now my hair is so fragile and so weak and I'm people some people saying why don't I just cut and start over but I was like are you crazy like cut my whole entire hair that's actually right here I should cut all that off and start over I was like nah I can't do that so um so far it's not coming out like it was because of all the treatment at the treatment I did on it so I guess I would just do a lot of treatments you know and see what works and um uh, See if I could bring it back to its natural, healthy state, and um, I'll keep you guys in tune to let you guys know what's going on with it. Uh, I will pull it out right now, but I'm actually having some get together, and I don't want to, you know, pull my hair out right now because it wouldn't really show the full length because it's in curled, and um, yeah. So I just wanted to um, make this quick video, you know, to let you guys know what's been going on, and just gonna keep. On the positive side and just hope that it will get back to its normal state that it was because I really take good care of my hair I think I perm my hair too quick and um I just want to let all my followers know whoever's following me whoever subscribed to my channel and anybody else out there who come across my channel to know that um this is very important when you bleach your hair and you color your hair a lot it's best, it doesn't matter how much treatment you put on it, it's best to leave it and let it stay. Like, don't put in a chemical, no color, no perm, no nothing. Just let it stay by itself because I thought that because of all the treatment that I was doing, I thought that, you know, it was strong enough because it wasn't shedding anything. So I was thinking that it was strong enough to hold up to the perm that I was going to do in my hair. But it did not. And as you can see, this is my outcome. My whole entire hair is breaked off. That's it right there, and I'm so upset. So now I just place it down for it not to show. And right now, because my hair is in curl, I don't know where else in my in my hair I'm breaking off. I probably have a lot more breakage, but I just can't see the back of it to even know how much. So I'm thinking on that when I wash it again and I'm have it straight, I'm just gonna let my my uh, my ba uh, my fiance go through it and see if I have any more breakage anywhere else so I can maintain it. And um, the good way to maintain it, to have your hair to grow back, is that um, Jamaican black castor oil really works to grow your hair back. So I'm thinking of just using that to help to see if it will work. Because I really don't want to go ahead and cut my hair off. So um, I'm just letting you guys know that if you put bleach in your hair and um, you color your hair a lot, it's best to just wait a hair to go a hair without putting relaxer in your hair. Because it doesn't matter how much you treat it and whatever, it's going to break off in the long run. So... I just want to get that out there to anybody who have relaxed hair and natural hair. It doesn't matter if your hair is relaxed or natural. As um, long as you put chemical on your hair or bleach on your hair or any color on your hair and your hair is weakened. And it doesn't matter how much you think you is you treat it. Because I treat my hair ever since the time I wash my hair. It doesn't matter how much. As long as you put a perm on it and you have a perm sitting on your hair for a while. It's eventually just going to break your hair off. And that's what happened to me. And I just don't want that to happen to nobody else who's in this hair challenge and growing their hair out for so long to have their hair um, falling out. So, yeah. So far, I'm surprised I still have a lot of hair on my head. <laughs> I have a lot of hair. So, this, I think that I will lose. I thought my hair was going to be so thin after I lose all these hair, plus hair that went down the drain and stuff. I thought I, my hair would be like nothing on my head. I was so scared, but eventually, as you can see, I still have hair. I still have hair on my head. You know what I mean? I still have hair on my head. And so the good thing about it is that it came out really, really good. The perm came out really good. And I sorry that I didn't make a video.